Have you ever wondered about the fundamental nature of the universe? How does matter interact with the forces that govern it? These questions have puzzled scientists for centuries, but they have finally found a powerful tool to help answer them, quantum field theory. Welcome to the Quantum Bugs Podcast. In this episode, we will delve into the fascinating world of quantum field theory or QFT, a powerful framework that has revolutionized our understanding of the universe at its most fundamental level. QFT is a branch of physics that describes the behavior of particles and fields, including the electromagnetic, strong, and weak forces that govern them. This theory has become a cornerstone of modern physics and is used to describe everything from the interactions of subatomic particles to the evolution of the universe itself. In this podcast, we will explore the basics of quantum field theory, including its relationship to classical field theory, the concept of quantization, and the role of symmetries. We will also discuss the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. Next episode is on Casimir Effect. Finally, we will examine some of the practical applications of quantum field theory, including its role in semiconductor technology, and the study of the early universe. So, whether you're a physicist, a student, or just someone curious about the nature of the universe, join us on this journey where we crack down the uncrackables. Part 1, let's begin with the basics of quantum field theory. In this section, we will explore the basics of quantum field theory, including its relationship to classical field theory, the concept of quantization, and the role of symmetries. First, let's discuss the concept of a field. In classical physics, a field is a physical quantity that exists at every point in space and time. Examples of classical fields include the electric and magnetic fields. These fields can be described using mathematical equations and used to predict the behavior of particles that interact with them. Quantum field theory, on the other hand, describes fields in a fundamentally different way. In this theory, fields are described by a mathematical object called a quantum field. A quantum field is a collection of operators that act on the state of a system to create and destroy particles. This means that particles are not viewed as independent entities in quantum field theory, but rather as excitations of the underlying quantum fields. Let's pause for a bit and digest the concept of quantum fields. In classical physics, we think of the world as being made up of particles, like tiny balls that bounce around and interact with each other. But in the quantum world, things are a little different. We don't think of particles as tiny balls anymore. Instead, we think of them as excitations in a field. So, what is a field? A field is a quantity that exists everywhere in space and can have different values at different points in space. Think of a temperature field. At any point in space, there is a temperature, and this temperature can vary from point to point. In the same way, quantum fields exist everywhere in space and can have different values at different points in space. Now, each type of particle corresponds to a different quantum field. For example, the electron is associated with the electron field, and the photon is associated with the electromagnetic field. When a field is in its lowest energy state, there are no particles present. But if the field is excited by some external stimulus, it can produce particles. This is similar to how a sound wave in a guitar string can be excited by plucking it and produce a musical note. To take a concrete example, let's think about the photon field. The photon is the particle that mediates the electromagnetic force, which is responsible for things like light, electricity, and magnetism. The photon field exists everywhere in space, and at any point in space, there can be different values of the field. When the photon field is in its lowest energy state, there are no photons present. But when the photon field is excited, it can produce photons. For example, when an electric charge accelerates, it creates ripples in the photon field, which can then propagate through space as photons. In short, a quantum field is a quantity that exists everywhere in space and can have different values at different points in space. Each type of particle corresponds to a different quantum field, 
and particles are thought of as excitations in these fields. When a quantum field is excited, it can produce particles. Understanding quantum fields is essential for understanding the behavior of particles in the quantum world, and it has led to many important breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe. Another key concept in quantum field theory is quantization. In classical physics, physical quantities can take on any value, but in quantum field theory, physical quantities are quantized, meaning they can only take on discrete values. This is because quantum fields can only be excited in discrete amounts, corresponding to particles with specific energy levels. The quantization of physical quantities has profound consequences for our understanding of the universe. It means that particles can be created and destroyed in interactions, and that energy is transferred in discrete amounts. This has important implications for the behavior of matter and the forces that govern it. Another important concept is symmetries. In physics, a symmetry is a transformation that leaves the laws of physics unchanged. For example, the laws of physics should be the same regardless of the direction you are facing. This is called rotational symmetry. In quantum field theory, symmetries are used to make predictions about physical phenomena. The most important symmetry is called gauge symmetry. This symmetry is a type of symmetry that allows us to describe the fundamental forces of nature in a unified way. I can explain the symmetry right now, but I can also make another video on the same, talking about all the symmetries of the quantum worlds. That's tricky, how about you subscribe to Proof of Everything channel, and we shall take care of the rest. This podcast series has all the quantum phenomenon discovered and studied so far. It is linked in the description below. Next episode is on Casimir Effect. I will stop with the promotion right away. Getting back. The fundamental forces of nature can be divided into four categories, the strong force, the weak force, the electromagnetic force, and gravity. The strong and weak forces are responsible for the interactions of subatomic particles, while the electromagnetic force is responsible for the interactions of charged particles. Gravity, on the other hand, is responsible for the interactions of massive objects. In quantum field theory, the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces are described by a unified theory called the Standard Model of Particle Physics. This theory describes the fundamental particles that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. It is based on the principle of gauge symmetry, which allows us to describe the forces in a unified way. To summarize, in this section, we have explored the basics of quantum field theory, including its relationship to classical field theory, the concept of quantization, and the role of symmetries. We have seen that quantum field theory describes fields in a fundamentally different way than classical physics, with fields being described by a collection of operators that act on the state of a system to create and destroy particles. We have also seen that the quantization of physical quantities and the use of symmetries are important concepts in quantum field theory, with symmetries being used to make predictions about physical phenomena. In the next section, we will explore the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. Part 2. The Standard Model of Particle Physics in the previous section, we explored the basics of quantum field theory, including its relationship to classical field theory, the concept of quantization, and the role of symmetries. In this section, we will delve into the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. The standard model of particle physics is a theoretical framework that describes the behavior of subatomic particles and the forces that govern their interactions. It is based on the principles of quantum field theory and the use of gauge symmetry to describe the fundamental forces of nature. Let's start by discussing the fundamental particles that make up matter. According to the standard model, there are two types of fundamental particles, fermions and bosons. Fermions are the building blocks of matter, and they are divided into two categories, quarks and leptons. Quarks are particles that make up protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom, while leptons include particles such as electrons and neutrinos. Bosons, on the other hand, are particles that mediate the fundamental forces of nature. They include the photon, which mediates the electromagnetic force, the W and Z bosons, which mediate the weak force, and the gluons, which mediate the strong force. 
Now, let's discuss the fundamental forces of nature. The strong force is responsible for holding the nucleus of an atom together, while the weak force is responsible for processes such as nuclear decay. The electromagnetic force is responsible for the interactions of charged particles, while gravity is responsible for the interactions of massive objects. The standard model describes the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces using a unified theory called the electroweak theory. This theory describes the electromagnetic and weak forces as two different aspects of a single unified force, and it predicts the existence of the W and Z bosons. The strong force, on the other hand, is described by a theory called quantum chromodynamics or QCD in short. QCD describes the interactions between quarks and gluons and predicts the existence of particles called hadrons, which include protons and neutrons. We have an episode talking about quantum chromodynamics in great detail linked in the description below. The unification of the electromagnetic and weak forces in the electroweak theory was a major breakthrough in particle physics, and it was confirmed by experimental observations. However, the unification of the strong force with the electroweak force has proven more challenging, and this is still an area of active research in particle physics. One of the key predictions of the standard model is the existence of the Higgs boson, which was discovered in 2012 by the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. The Higgs boson is responsible for giving particles mass and plays a fundamental role in the electroweak theory. While the standard model has been incredibly successful in describing the behavior of subatomic particles, it is not a complete theory of the universe. For example, it does not describe the behavior of dark matter or explain the asymmetry between matter and antimatter in the universe. In short, the standard model of particle physics is a theoretical framework that describes the fundamental particles that make up matter and the forces that govern their interactions. It is based on the principles of quantum field theory and the use of gauge symmetry to describe the fundamental forces of nature. The unification of the electromagnetic and weak forces in the electroweak theory was a major breakthrough in particle physics, and the discovery of the Higgs boson confirmed a fundamental prediction of the theory. While the standard model is incredibly successful, it is not a complete theory of the universe, and there are still many unanswered questions in the field. Part 3. Finally, Applications of Quantum Field Theory In the previous sections, we explored the basics of quantum field theory and the standard model of particle physics. In this section, we will discuss some of the many applications of quantum field theory in a wide range of fields, including condensed matter physics, cosmology, and high-energy physics. One of the most exciting applications of quantum field theory is in condensed matter physics. In this field, researchers study the behavior of large groups of interacting particles, such as electrons in a solid material. The theory provides a powerful framework for understanding the behavior of these particles and predicting their properties. For example, researchers have used the theory to explain phenomena such as superconductivity, and superfluidity, where materials exhibit zero electrical resistance or zero viscosity, respectively. These phenomena have important practical applications, such as in the development of high-speed trains and medical imaging technologies. Another important application is in cosmology, the study of the origin and evolution of the universe. Quantum field theory provides a framework for understanding the behavior of particles in the early universe and predicting the properties of cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. In particular, the theory of cosmic inflation, which proposes that the universe underwent a period of exponential expansion in the early moments after the Big Bang, is based on the principles of quantum field theory. This theory has been supported by observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, and it provides a compelling explanation for many of the observed features of the universe. In addition to these applications, it has had a major impact on high-energy physics, the study of the behavior of subatomic particles at extremely high energies. The principles of quantum field theory have been used to develop a range of experimental and theoretical tools for studying the behavior of particles at high energies, including particle accelerators and detectors. One of the most exciting recent developments in high-energy physics is the discovery of the Higgs boson at the Large Hadron Collider. This discovery confirmed a fundamental prediction of the standard model and provided important new insights into the behavior of particles at high energies. 
It has also been used to develop theories beyond the standard model, such as supersymmetry and string theory. These theories propose new particles and interactions beyond those predicted by the standard model, and they provide possible explanations for some of the outstanding problems in particle physics, such as the nature of dark matter. In summary, quantum field theory has had a profound impact on a wide range of fields, from condensed matter physics to cosmology and high-energy physics. It provides a powerful framework for understanding the behavior of particles and predicting their properties, and it has led to many important breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe. While there are still many unanswered questions in the field, the applications of quantum field theory continue to inspire new research and discoveries. So, let's box it up. In this podcast, we have explored the fascinating world of quantum field theory. We have learned about the basic principles of the theory, the standard model of particle physics, and some of its exciting applications in fields such as condensed matter physics, cosmology, and high-energy physics. It has revolutionized our understanding of the behavior of particles and their interactions, and it continues to be a vibrant area of research with many unanswered questions and exciting new developments. We hope that this podcast has given you a taste of the amazing things that can be accomplished with this theory, and that it has inspired you to learn more about this fascinating field. Whether you are a scientist, a student, or simply a curious person, we encourage you to explore the mysteries of the universe through the lens of quantum field theory. Next episode is on Casimir Effect. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed this episode.